demon of rape, you demon of sexual violence, I command you, Christ Jesus, my name, get the hell away from me now. I don't want to see you behind around me anymore. Get away now, in Christ Jesus, my name. That's how you address rape spirits. What are rape spirits? Rape spirits are also called succubus demons or incubus demons or spirit wives, spirit husbands, whatever ty title you assign to them. I prefer not to assign any title to those creeps. Rape spirits are men because all heavenly beings are men. They are former heavenly beings, so they're all men. Men whom the most I have has banned from the heavens because they joined Satan in the rebellion, they've lost civil war and kept on fighting, so they drained themselves, so eventually the Most High kicked them out of the heavens and contained them in the earth realm, and the, the minute they hit the earth realm, and later woke up after falling from heaven, well actually after, after being smitten to the sword here, they realized that they were not those beautiful handsome men anymore. Even their voices became distorted. They looked at themselves and each other, they were horrified. And all those centuries of negativity began to cause energetic diseases in them. So rape spirits are homeless men whose masculinity has collapsed. They have thousands of diseases 24-7. They are plagued by mental sickness. They have no emotional stability. And they have this deep-rooted, intense, fierce hatred of women. And they are very envious and jealous of human males. So those creeps, they want to keep us in sexual disharmony. That's what they want for the human species. And those creeps, the best way to get rid of them is to be joyful and, ac and accepting of what you are. If you're a man, you're a man. Be happy about it. But you're a white man, black man, you're a Chinese man, Arab, Native American, I don't care. Be happy with your ethnicity. Be happy with what you are. Because by accepting yourself completely, you shut down the minds of set of rejection. And once you've shut down the minds of rejection, rape spirits have no grip on you. Rape spirits, as I explained in the community post I've made here on YouTube, they send telepathic signs to your brain. They can't telepathically communicate with you, but they can send telepathic signs towards you. And the brain receives those telepathic signs, and the brain responds in a biological way. And they send those telepathic sexual uh, signs towards your brain. And your brain is tricked into thinking you're sexually active while you're, while you're not. You can be laying in bed, or you can be riding your bicycle, or doing something else, and suddenly you're sexually aroused. Suddenly, your body is in the sexual mood to have physical sex. And you're thinking, what's going on here? And this exhausts you physically, and your energy centers as a human being, which are not physical, begin to emit this sexual shock to the environment. And then those demons come and eat it up. That's how they train you. And they do this to both males and females. But they prefer males because they're sodomized. And this can leave you... It leaves you drained, that's one. It can, leave, it, it, it can even cause you to become suicidal and depressed. That's why you have men out there suddenly... It is as if they don't want to live anymore. It is as if they only want to sleep all day long. It is as if they are very bitter and cynical. And you think, what happened to this guy? Everyone around is thinking, how can you be so bitter and cynical? What happened to you? It's a rape spirit. You can see women who suddenly become so, so thirsty for sexual attention. But when it comes to actual physical sex, they don't want to. Because the the woman or the girl, the human being, doesn't want the sexual activity. But it's the rape spirit that that uh, forces the brain to give sexual hormones off to the body. So when you see women out there who are all, always looking for sexual attention, 
even when they don't actual physical sex, they have a rape spirit using them. So those women are dressed in provoking ways, putting themselves in danger. And when they are raped or they're harmed, Evan goes after the male perpetrator or female perpetrator. But then a lot of folks ask, why did she walk around dressed like that? Which woman goes around dressing like that, putting herself in harm's way, knowing full well that, that around those pubs or those bars, you have many sexually frustrated men. Why do you put yourself in danger? But here's the thing. There are women out there who are social, sociopaths that just want to put themselves in danger just so that they're victimized and so they can get sympathy from others. Yet you have crazy effed up women like that. But you also have a lot of women who have rape spirits taken advantage of them just to cause sexual danger in the human community because that will lead to sexual trauma collectively and demons feed out of it. Sexual trauma is a very big high for evil spirits. They really get excited by sexual trauma. Especially collective sexual trauma. So all those anti-rapist marches and protests out there, they're energizing rape spirits. They don't really solve anything. So, again, accept yourself in Christ, absolutely. And one more thing. Many of those songs, many of you listen on the radio or on your iPods or just on your mobile phone, including many worship songs that you play in those churches, are really reversed rape spells. A reversed rape spell is a decree in which, to, in which you agree to be victimized. And once you agree with this decree, you are in agreement with rape spirits. So if you have a worship song in which God is portrayed as this hard to get husband that you have to push to get approval from him, if you have any worship song that you just this, that's a reversed rape spell. So if you're in church and you sing this so-called hymn to praise the Lord, you're actually agreeing with victimization of yourself and those around you. You are actually conjuring up evil spirits. It's not just in Hollywood that they do such things. All do it in pagan Christianity. So beware of reverse rape spells. How do you get rid of reverse rape spell? You denounce it. And you agree with the real king, with the real Christ. Be at peace.